Hey everyone, this is going to be a video on how to create a screen recorder using an Electron app. I created this using an Electron Forge command with yarn create Electron app uh, screen recorder as the name of the folder and then using the Webpack template. Uh, this will allow me to use a lot of the import syntax that we are normally used to for ES6 modules. So first thing to, I'm going to do is to get started is I'm just going to run the app and check that everything is working use electron forge start and that will give us a small window with our hello world so what we can do is we can make this window a little bigger just so we can see things having the dev tools right there um, and then we will also add a little bit of html so that we can have the basics to run everything so i'm going to add a video element to preview the stream that we're going to be writing the to the file a few buttons to start stop and get the video sources from our node process so i will restart the server and we should be able to remake our window and now we have our three buttons in a slightly bigger window now they don't do anything so we will need to go over to our renderer.js and add some code i'm going to import a couple of things one is the renderer from Electron, the write file function from FS. This is a node module. And then a media recorder and a recorded chunks array so that we can store all this video that we are going to be streaming. And then a bunch of document queries that will get references to our HTML. So I will reload the page and you'll see we get a new error with cannot find module FS. And this is Webpack saying it doesn't know what FS is. And that's because we haven't let the IPC renderer uh, be loaded because we have that turned off because of node integration. So we will go back to our main.js and we will add two things. Node integration true, which will enable that module to exist and context isolation false. This is a security measure that they have put in that you need to turn off to allow your renderer process to use node functions. And then because we're using Forge, we also need to update our Forge config to allow it with the same properties to make sure that that gets done as well. And I will restart the app and that error should go away. As you see, we now have a video sources error instead. So we will need to define that function that I have assigned here. So I'm going to add a function here that will call our IPC renderer and get the sources from our node process. So if I save this and click get video sources, we have an error because we have to register a handler for the get sources on the IPC renderer. So what you want to do is go back to main.js and go down to the bottom of your file and you will add a IPC main handler and this will uh, allow you to respond to that call and return a response with only things you are allowed to do in the main process. So I'm going to update a few imports that will add the desktop capture and the IPC main from the Electron module and we can restart our app to test this out. And we can get video sources and you'll see now that we get all of the different screens and windows on your computer that you can now use to record. But when I hit start, you get an error that start recording is not defined. So we'll need to go back to our renderer and add some functions for the start, stop, and on data available functions. So for start recording, um, here is some JavaScript that will get the ID that we assigned here from the select option and then pass that into our constraints. And then it will get a video stream from our navigator and then we will be able to assign that stream and play it in our video element. And then we will also play it and save it to our media recorder and then that will have an on data available callback, which we can define now, which we'll, we will use to save our information too. 
So the recorded chunks, every time this gets called, we'll get some more data and we'll attach that. And then we'll also define a function for stop. And then this will get called once the media recorder is called to stop here on the button. And then it takes a second and then the media recorder will finish up and then call this function. And what we'll do is we'll convert all those recorded chunks into a binary blob with a certain codec. And then we can convert that blob into a buffer, which we can then write to the file later once we have showed a save dialog. So if we go back and get video sources, we can start streaming and you'll see that that works. And we now have that video stream. But when we click stop, we'll get an error because this IPC renderer we have uh, called has not defined a function yet for the show save dialog. So what we'll do is we'll go back into IPC main and we are going to import another function. We're going to import the dialog window. And this dialog window is going to be used to get the native functionality of a local file explorer or finder if you are on Mac. And so then we can add this function that will return the save dialog and make sure that everything goes planned. So we'll restart the app and we'll be able to test everything now. So we'll get our video sources for our screen one and then we can start and then we can move our window around to make sure that we're actually recording all these things. And then we can click stop and that will trigger the file dialog. So we can save this file to our desktop, which I've built using a little date format with the video um, and we'll use WebM. And then you can see now, if we go to our desktop window, we have our video, which we can play. And you'll see that it did save indeed everything we were talking about. So I will push this code up to GitHub as a reference and you will link down below. And I will let me know if you have any questions and I will put out more things related to this in more days to come.